Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play the Thousand Year Door. So let's go ahead and put the key, the uh, card keys. I almost call them key cards again. I don't know, it varies between games, but... Let's go ahead and put the three into the consoles here. It doesn't matter which one you put where, they're all the same. So we open up the door and head on through. And now this room's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, this is the one I'm remembering. It's kind of just a big puzzle room. It's quite complicated, actually. So, we're gonna have a few things we have to do. Let's see if we can actually just get into a real battle with this guy here. Yeah, alright, this should do the trick. They should get the chance to attack. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and take this one out, treat this battle like normal, pretty much. I mean, even if we unload, the one, at least one of them will still be alive, so that's good. i go ahead and stampede him. Always cool to see this attack, too. This is one of my favorites. And here they come! I like how some of them are kind of in the background, too. And it falls. Alright, yeah, there we go. So basically what they do is they can do various things with potions. They can either drink them to give them uh, different little status boosts, or they can throw them at you, and those can also cause statuses. So if you don't block their attacks, these guys can actually be a little bit irritating. And uh, they can also do various things like make themselves uh, like huge, so their attack power is boosted. They can make themselves dodgy, and probably a few other things as well. So uh, you want to watch out for these guys. They can be a little bit irritating, but they really don't have a risk of killing you that much. So, all right, what are you doing now? Oh, you're healing yourself. That's no fun. So if we can hit him, oh good. <laughs> I always hate that. Like the dodgy status in this game. It almost makes you invincible half the time. It's really crazy. I should use uh, Flurry's Dodgy Fog more often. But... Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we actually need to use Bobbery to hit the switch. We don't have another way to get to it, but we can throw him over the railing, and the switch will kind of activate the machinery here. So we use our skinny powers to get through and uh, pick up Vivian in order to get us under this thing. So yeah, this is kind of like the, the big puzzle that utilizes like all of your partner's skills, pretty much. So to go through here, we're actually going to have to be doing a little bit of platforming. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, this is mostly an RPG, but, well, it is a Mario game, so. Uh, there's also an Ultra Shroom up there, which is easy to get, and I would recommend you do so, because you can never have too many of those. I mean, 50 HP recovery is pretty much just going to be a full recovery, which is going to be very useful in the uh, later boss battles, for sure. Let's go ahead and pick that up. You know, Ultra Shroom, we're going to have to toss something. Uh, one of the Thunder Rages will work. Oh, <laughs> it almost stayed on the platform. That was pretty cool. Yep, so now we have to uh, kind of wait on these here. Jump, jump. There we go. And make our way onto these cogs. You can't stand on these. It's kind of annoying because you have to keep walking to the left on this one until the platform gets down there. And then the camera really gets uh, in the way there. It's kind of hard to see, but thankfully you can just pretty much fall around on the platform. It's no big deal. And then we can uh, come up here. We don't want to jump on that when it's all the way up, because you won't make it. You'll fall onto the, onto the ground and have to go all the way back to the beginning, which sucks. So, don't do that. And just keep going on through these little uh, platforms here. Make our way onto this one. As you can see, there's like a card key reader up there up top, which we can't even get to at the moment. So, uh, we're going to have to use the plane panel here and go over this way. To get the key card right here. Card key. Key card, card key, whatever. It's all the same. Holy crap, look at that. That guy's in the ground. That's awesome. I've never seen that before. Okay, and now that we're done with this part of the puzzle here, uh, we pretty much just need to take this pipe and uh, go back into the background. And we're going to end up having to do pretty much this entire puzzle again because, as you can see, it takes us over here. So we're going to have to get over to the right in order to get back to that uh, key card reader. I think that was the right way. Oh, look, her tail's floated up again. You can really see it there. I wonder why it does that. I don't know. It's so weird. All right, so let's just make our way over. It's a little quicker this time since we don't need to uh, go get the Ultra Shroom so we can save off a little bit of time. Phew, that that could be dangerous, but uh, it's the fastest way to get over here, so I'm going to take it. And, yeah, it's also around this point where you really start to notice just how repetitive the music is. Uh, <laughs> we've been hearing it for this entire time now. It's just kind of the same two sections over and over. Okay, do I get on that cog? I don't remember. I, I don't think I want to. I think it's, the timing is just bad here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that was a little irritating. <laughs> oh, come on. Get down here. Thank you. Alright, and there is that pipe. So it kind of seems like there's not really another way for us to go, but you can see the uh, swinging chains here, and that actually means there's a platform down here to stand on, of course. 
So, uh, we need to... Actually, we don't need to switch partners. We do want to fix that, though. It's getting a little irritating. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, we want to hit the switch here, and that's going to make some uh, stairs appear, I believe. Yep. And that'll let us get up there to that card reader. So we're finally about to get out of this room. And like I said, it's a pretty big puzzling room. I mean, I can see where uh, if you haven't done this before, you might get a little bit stuck for a minute. But... Yep, so we go on up the stairs, put the card key in, and go through the door. Finally. It makes me wonder how the Axonauts actually get through that room, you know? Bah, 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 ha, ha. Oh no, it's this guy again. I've been waiting for you. Oh man, have I been waiting, and I hate waiting. All right, impatient. Crump, you've been waiting for us? What does that mean? Bah, I'll tell you what it means. I used a crystal star to lure you here, so that I can take all of your crystal stars. How brilliant is that, huh? And want to know the best part? Your little peachy girl isn't even here anymore. Oh man. So Peach was here. Where did you take her, Crump? Bah, 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 bah. Ugh, like I tell you the plan, that's novice villain style. No, I won't be doing anything like that. Sorry, really, guys. So, ready for showtime? You guys are going to be the perfect workout for Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. Yep, so he's got a brand new machine. Definitely looks better than his previous one. It's not that uh, horrible shade of purple and pink. Hope you're up to the challenge because this thing is raw horsepower, kitties. I mean, yeah, it still looks like a flimsy box, but, yeah, well, it's a little bit improved at least. And once we get into battle, we're definitely going to see it is because Magnus Von Grapple 2.0 is really no pushover. Bah, 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 ha, Yeah, last version was buggy, so we made improvements. One, two, a dozen. Get ready for a whole new way to experience pain, you junior varsity losers. You're the one who's going to suffer, Crump, no matter how many times we do this. Pretty much. All right, so uh, first things first, I'm going to switch over to Gubella. I actually forgot the boss battle was in this room. I thought there was still one more in between, but no, oh, well, whatever. So let's go ahead and get our tattle going. Ah, Magnus Von Grapple 2.0, the upgraded version of Magnus Von Grapple. Oh, really? HP is 70, attack is 6, and defense is 2. Basic attack is a drill move that drops from above. It also sometimes releases its fist for flying X punches. Its X punch has a max HP of 5, attack of 9, and a defense of 0. Yeah, watch out for that. Those fists are flying, you may get attacked by the fists and body in one turn. Take care of the slow HP fists early on, trust me. When the body's HP gets low, it also fires machine guns and who knows what else. It may not look too different from the last version, but it's much stronger, so be careful. I still think the whole design's a little ridiculous, though. Yeah, it is, but... <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna do his Magnus Drill attack here. And, yeah, Goombella is not kidding. This guy is much improved from his last form. Um, I didn't heal up, which is also probably a mistake, but, oh well, it's not a big deal. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I believe, is I'm gonna use Power Lift to help myself out. And I don't think we've seen this yet, so uh, it's probably a good thing I'm gonna get to show it off. But basically what we're gonna be doing is uh, trying to hit the good, like, stars here. Don't hit the Poison Mushrooms. And uh, depending on how many of these you hit, you raise your stats, as you can see on the meter over there on the left. We're raising both our defense and offense. Uh, defense by hitting the blue stars, offense by hitting the red ones. So that's good. Yeah, you can usually get four in total, whether it be two and two or three and one, that's usually what I get. Uh, don't throw a rock at me, now it's not the time. And I'm also going to be uh, probably using Rally Wink here. It uses a lot of FP, but uh, it's a good move because it lets Mario attack again. But that is not a wink. I don't care what you say. That is a rally smooch. But, yeah. So, we're going to let Mario attack again, and we can use Spring Jump. And with the increased offense, I think that was the one that got increased by three. This is actually going to do quite a bit of damage. <sighs> Assuming I can hit the command. I didn't know exactly where it was going to land. Uh, oh, man. It's going to be so good. All right. And now, yeah. This is where he's going to be kind of unleashing his fists here. Oh. Pff, did you have to do that right now, man? Uh, all right, so I'm gonna switch partners out and go with Vivian so she can take care of the fist with fiery jinx uh, Of course now there's no guarantee. It's gonna hit in fact. It's probably guaranteed not to hit one of them. Oh wow What do you know? So yeah, you can take out the fist that way, which is always a good idea Oh, yeah, this is a weird attack here Whew, all right, I missed but <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird looking there All right, so let's go ahead. We don't have any more FP awesome. Um, let's see. I'm going to Oh, I really don't want to burn the jam and jelly. It's the only one I got. Okay, what I'm going to do then... I pretty much wasted this power lift, which sucks. Okay, never mind. I was going to use Sweet Feast, but I don't have the SP for it, so uh, no big deal. Waste the jam and jelly. We're going to pick up um, another one. In practice, I didn't really need it that much in the parts to come anyway, so uh, it should be all right. I, I just really want the FP. Plus, see one more spring jump uh, before our power runs out. Maybe I can hit it this time. 
No, are you kidding me? Wow. Uh, yeah, like I know you can use the shadow to kind of judge where it's going to be, and I tried to that time, but I don't know. I guess it just came out a little too fast or something. All right, so let's go ahead and switch back and uh, just attack this thing here. See, this time it's really slow. Oh my gosh, I hit it too early. Man, I can't, I'm really messing this up. I'm sorry about that, but... Uh, ugh, I wasn't wanting this battle to take this long. Normally, I've done a lot more damage to him by this point. Uh, so, he's only got 37 left, which uh, isn't bad. It should be over before too long. Whew, yeah, okay. That one's a little hard to time, too. I don't really know that one off the top of my head, so... Okay, I promise I will hit it one of these times. There it is. So, yeah, that does quite a bit of damage. Uh, Shade Fist is also going to help out here. I'm not really going to be using Rally Wink because I don't really have a good way of recovering FP. <laughs> so, uh, there will probably be a sweet feast before the end of it, though, because this guy's going to take my health down quite a bit. <laughs> oh, crud. You guys should be a little puttless of nothing by now. Oh, well. I've still got some tricks up my sleeve. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah. So, this is an awesome attack. Um, and it's good for me because this actually, I think, isn't going to do any damage regardless. But what he does is he sucks up people out of the crowd and then unleashes a machine gun on his chest. Bah, 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 ha, eat this. Yep, and he's going to fire it at us, but they actually don't do a lot to do enough damage. Holy crap. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like I didn't think they did enough damage to get through Defend Plus, but... Man, I mean, you can imagine how bad that would be if you didn't have any Defend Pluses, let me tell you. All right, so I'm going to use a Sweet Feast real quick to recover up here. Uh, both the HP and FP can use a little boost. So, let's go for it. Ha, ah, crap. I hate that. I wish they didn't put those in there. It's really annoying. Because at this point, I mean, you're basically auto-firing, so it's not like you're really controlling it at all. Yep. So, you can get some pretty good gains from this, especially if you actually don't hit any of the Poison Mushrooms. You can get some pretty good gains. Uh, we almost fully recovered there, which is good. That's, I and mean, that's why that attack costs so much SP. You know, it's really good. So, all right, he doesn't have too much left. 17 HP. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, he should go down before too long here. Oh, he's gonna do this attack again. Let's see if we can block a few more this time. I wasn't really ready last time, but. Uh... Ah, nope. See, that, that pretty lucky match, I forgot I had it equipped. You see how very rarely that takes place? I didn't realize it was actually that low of a rate. That's a little bit insane, if you ask me. I mean, we've been hit so many times, and then it finally kicks in. There we go. That's more like it. Herf. No. How? What? My sweet powered-up robot is on the ropes. This is wrong. Yeah, it's also gone on this turn, buddy. Oh, no, he's got one left. Well, he's going to die from burns again, which is pretty funny. So, <laughs> I guess I'll take it. Let's see, do we need to defeat the fists, or will it just die automatically? Borg! Oh, no, they die automatically. Good. Phew, all right, so that's Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. As you can see, it's definitely a step up here. I mean, that, that was actually a semi-difficult boss, you know? Brodus! Well, that was violent. Phew, so now that we've defeated Magnus von Grapple, the Crystal Star shows up. And we can pick it up to finish the chapter. Good stuff. So we get the Crystal Star, star power is now 8, and Mario can use Supernova, which is like the ultimate in cool attacks. You'll see it, trust me, you'll see it. <laughs> I, can't, uh, I can't resist showing that off. So yeah, that is the end of the chapter. Awesome. The last Crystal Star had been hidden in the Exodon hideout on the moon. But by the time Mario had recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And one of the elusive Grotus, perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? Who knows? But we're now going to get to save all game progress, and let me tell you, this timing has worked out so perfectly, I couldn't have planned it better myself. So in the next part, we are going to uh, find out what happens after Chapter 7. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.